Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I thought this is my first Thanksgiving ever cooking and brining a turkey, and that's what this video is about. How to brine your turkey, which if you don't know, and I just found out, it's another way of saying marinade. Makes your turkey extra juicy so that your guests for Thanksgiving are super happy. I call this segment Brining with Brian, or Brian Brines, whatever you prefer. All right, let's begin. First, what you need. As you can see in front of me, I've got apples, oranges, lemons, black pepper, parsley, brown sugar, a pot to put your brine in. I've got a measuring cup, and I've got four vegetable broths equaling a full gallon. You can make your brine with different herbs and spices. You can use lemons, you don't have to use lemons. It's really up to you. But what the orange and lemon, uh, it's gonna do, it's, it's gonna help get that, that skin when you roast the turkey, extra brown and extra crispy. Apples is gonna add a lot of flavor, as is the herbs. Oh, and don't forget the brown sugar. And then of course, don't forget your turkey. All right, so let's begin. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put the four chicken broths in. Don't be afraid to squeeze hard to make sure you get all that broth. Take it from me, Brian. Brian knows broth. Make sure you squeeze extra hard to get every last ounce. You're also gonna need salt. So after you've put your four vegetable broths in, you're gonna put half a cup of brown sugar. Yeah, put a little bit extra, guys. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. A little extra sugar never hurt anybody, except for that one guy who got hit by that cargo train of sugar. All right, so we got our brown sugar and our broth. Our broth is browner. Now we're gonna do one cup of salt. Okay, now believe it or not, if you are gonna do a brine and you don't have all this stuff, you can actually just do water and salt. It's called a salt broth. I Googled it. All right, we got our, we got our broth, we got our brown sugar, we got our salt. Next up, we're gonna do half a teaspoon of whole black pepper. I'm just gonna eye this. You can as well at home, or feel free to use a teaspoon. By the way, you can be generous with this. You really can't go wrong in this stage. All right. Hey, maybe I put in a little bit extra, maybe I didn't, nobody knows. We got our black pepper in there. Now you wanna do a tablespoon of ground black pepper. I'm not really sure what the difference is between the whole pepper and the ground pepper as far as the, the flavor, but that's what I was taught, so that's what I'm doing, guys. All right, we're all peppered up. We got a pep in our step, and we're ready for the next step. Now I'm gonna cut up the apples, oranges, and lemons into slices and put that in there. Probably best to wash this before putting it in. Just realized I forgot one of the vegetable broths. Some teacher I am. I was just so excited to get to the other steps, you know? I want to brine, baby. Brian wants to brine. Now I'm going to use a decently sized knife to make your life easier. And uh, just going to remind you at home, I, you might be excited, but take your time with this. You certainly don't want to cut a finger. Hey, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoy this turkey prepared with my bloody fingers. Okay, bam. I might be using too much fruit, honestly, I don't know. But from how I was told was that you, you can't go wrong here. You can't, you can't do too much, too little. And this is just gonna add so much flavor and juice to the turkey. I can't wait to see what my family thinks. They're probably, you know, heard I was cooking the turkey. They're like, oh, I don't know. This guy, maybe he can cook a pizza, but I don't know about a turkey, but I'm going to show them. Because little do they know, Brian's been brining. Yeah, I'm going to wear out that joke. Believe me, I am going to wear it out. Now, you just stir the pot, all the ingredients. Get it nice and mixed up. And once you have it mixed up, you're going to put this on the oven and bring it to a boil. Boil your brine. But get it nice and mixed up, stir it up, bring it to a boil, 
Then you're actually going to add cold water and put it in the refrigerator because you're going to want to make it nice and cold. The, the boiling is to bring all the juices and all the flavors together. But then you make it cold because you're going to put your turkey in the container you got to put all the brine in the turkey. But you want the brine to be cold because you don't want it to start cooking your turkey yet. This is just the marination stage. Oh yeah, and guys, I almost forgot. Like I said, this is my first time. I'm going to put in two things of parsley to add even more flavor. And I'm really sorry I forgot this earlier. Like I said, it's my first time. Hey! Your friends are going to be like, man, how is this so good? You know, next Thanksgiving, they're going to be like, this turkey's so juicy and delicious. And you're going to be like, you got to check out Brian Brian's. I'll see you guys shortly when this is done boiling. All right, guys, once it comes to a boil, you know, make sure you're, you're still mixing it up, but you can shut it off because now we're going to actually let this cool down. Then we're going to put it in the refrigerator so it gets nice and cold. We're going to put it in the cooler, add cold water to that, then immerse our turkey in it. And remember, we don't want the brine hot when you put the turkey in because then it's gonna start cooking your turkey and we do not want that. It's nice and cold, just how you want it. And I've got my turkey and you actually do not want to rinse your turkey because, I don't know, it says on the directions not to, it can cross contaminate or something. So before I open the turkey, Let's put the brine in the container. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Splashes a little, you gotta be careful. All right, I got my cold water. I'm gonna put it in there. All right, baby, here we go, here we go. We're fully immersed, baby. This looks like what Neo slept in in the Matrix. And guys, that's it. You put a lid on, you put it in the refrigerator. Tomorrow, when you're ready to cook your turkey, it's going to be muy bueno, which is very good for people that, you know, aren't as cultured as myself. <laughs> uh, guys, thanks for watching Brining with Brian. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. And uh, tune in next time for more with uh, yours truly, Brian. All right, I brined.